Skepticism, philosophy's party pooper, always asking, but are you sure? Skeptical frameworks have been used in both Eastern and Western philosophy for centuries. The famous dreaming argument suggests that if our current experiences are merely a dream, we cannot be certain about the reality of our surroundings or even our own identity. This idea is illustrated by the Chinese philosopher Xiang Xu's dream of being a butterfly, which led him to question whether he was a man dreaming of being a butterfly or a butterfly dreaming of being a man. Our word, skepticism, comes from ancient Greece, the home of not one but two great skeptical traditions, academic skepticism and Pyrrhonian skepticism. It starts with Pyrrho, who said we cannot assume the truth of one explanation rather than any other. Timon of Phleas said that every proof has premises which it does not itself establish. No ultimate ground of certainty exists. Academic skeptics argued sensory impressions can't yield knowledge, while Pyrrhonians suspended judgment on everything. Carniades argued skepticism could free us from dogmatism. Sextus Empiricus turned doubt into a way of life. Fast forward to the Renaissance, Montaigne revived skepticism by inscribing, what do I know, on his library ceiling. Descartes argued that even in a dream, we should still be able to know basic facts, like the number of sides on a square, or the sum of two and three. However, he ultimately found a way to cast doubt on even these seemingly certain truths. He also upped the ante with his evil genius thought experiment, asking you to imagine a demon controlling all your perceptions and thoughts. David Hume followed with skeptical of causality, the self, and induction. Even science wasn't safe from his doubt. Kant responds by limiting knowledge to save certainty. Modern philosophy gave us the brain in a vat scenario. If you were a brain connected to a supercomputer simulating reality, how could you tell? Carl Sagan's extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence is skepticism in a nutshell. But it also has its limits. Push it too far, and you end up with solipsism or paralysis. The challenge is finding the sweet spot between gullibility and cynicism. Skepticism reminds us to question our assumptions, examine our beliefs, and hold our knowledge lightly. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.